fireworks. Alright. Let's crank this sucker down. And, uh, burn it. don't know what a pick and a flick means check out my previous episodes and you'll find out so yeah there's still a lot of good body on this doing a nice little pick and flick nothing too dramatic because it's not burnt it's just uh lightly lightly charred on its edges so i gotta do basic light pick and flick and it's solid good to go which is always nice let's just grab a drink here Some homemade lemonade. With actual lemon juice and Splenda. Makes it interesting, but it'll work. Sugar free. Not overly sweet by any means. But it does the job, right? Alright. Let's finish this bowl and then we're gonna kick back and relax a little bit. stuff all right so uh in the background i got playing the shield did anybody remember that show the shield i've never seen it on tv i saw it on netflix i got into it and i watched every episode and then i found a dvd box set of it for dirt cheap from hmv or something i think i got all seven seasons in one box set I think I paid like 15 bucks for 20 bucks. No, pardon me. You know what? That was Walmart Boxing Day. Oh, yeah. Wicked deal. Had to try it. Had to try it. That was awesome. But, uh, yeah. So, watched it. And, of course, I found it the other day. And I'm like, you know what? I, I, I honestly think I, I got to get back into it. I'm on episode, or the, pardon me, disc three. Already gone through. This is the ninth, or, no, tenth, tenth episode in two days. So I'm definitely in for the long run, and this is what I'll be watching, probably during the night, nightly rants, and in any spare time where I can just come down and relax, which is not all that often, but whatever. So we're not even going to load the next bowl, just so we have a nice fresh atmosphere. going to leave this guy sitting open a little bit. Alright, so but we are broadcasting from the laptop tonight, so we've got the full studio, so we've got a couple extra songs from uh, Dano Songs uh, dot com. And of course, everything else is from bensound.com. Right now, we're listening to Pop Dance. I know I was going to try and spend some time today and really dig in and find some more music, uh, but I just did not have the time today to really even attempt this. It was just, it wasn't a busy day. Like I said, it was mainly yard work, housework, that type of, type of stuff. But it was just a consistently flowing day. Like, wasn't a whole lot of time to just do my own thing without somebody attached to me. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy. So this is Bionic Robotics from Dano Songs. I can barely hear it. So, of course, we're going to make the rounds. We're going to go check out Mass Roots. See what's kicking on the Mass Roots. Um, it's looking pretty quiet. Stomach's kind of 
gurgling here. I think I'm hungry. Uh, shout out to our friends over at Metal Forums. Those guys are awesome. Make some killer pieces. Check them out. Um, no, I'm, I, for the record, I'm not asked to plug their stuff. I don't have their stuff. But they're really cool guys. So, check them out. I highly recommend it. You will not be regretting it. Uh, Twitter. You know what? We're not feeling too Twitter pitted. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, especially our Instagram account, we don't have a whole lot of people. Uh, we're not following or friended. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it with too many. Do, 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 do. Boobies. Yes. I am a fan of boobies. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Alright. So we're going to get rid of all that. Because you know what? At this point it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on. It's fairly quiet. Everywhere across the board. You know what? That's cool. Because you never know where things might go. View. Yeah, you know what? Just just show me. Just show me. Do it. Do it. Boo. You know, I do like some of the functionality of um, Spreaker. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff to it. Definitely helps to know your way around their, their app. And then, of course, their website. Now, the website from the phone is not as great. Uh, you really, if you really want to access the Spreaker.com website, go to Spreaker.com on a computer. Way better than on a tablet or a phone. Just, just my recommendation. I don't find it that user-friendly on a phone, like the mobile version. It's just everything opens up into a new window, and it's just a big pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. It's a pain in the ass. Um, yeah. Alright, so we're going to close that sucker up. So, I still haven't found the charging cord for my solo air riser, which is really, really bugging me. Because um, I don't know where it would go. It doesn't seem to be anywhere in any spot where I would put it. And the last time I had, I used it was down here, plugged in by my TV, by my charging station. And yet now it's gone. It just makes absolutely no sense. No sense whatsoever. But it's getting to me, so I would really like to charge that pen, that uh, vaporizer up. I'll start using that, because... <coughs> Then uh, I could just smoke freely. Right. As always, you guys can hit us up on Spreaker, Mass Roots, Instagram, Twitter. YouTube, Google Plus, and Snapchat as of last night. And oh, and SoundCloud. Find us there as well. The Puffcast. No matter where you go, it is always the Puffcast. Check us out. Follow us, love us, we'll follow you back. Give you a shout out. Whatever. We're just trying to find some friends. Just trying to find some friends. It's so lonely some days. It's so lonely. You never know who's going to come in, who's going to come around, who's listening, who's laughing, who's just thinking this is downright stupid. Eh, you know, it is what it is. We're on episode 19 of the podcast. It's this is crazy. Um, you know, obviously it'll take a little bit longer to get to episode 100, uh, but uh, especially if we're only broadcasting three days a week now. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You know? Because maybe every now and then I'll throw in an extra bonus episode. If I'm feeling it. But three days a week is something to look forward to. On, uh, you know, my nights off. Right? So, I think it'll be better. 
And of course, as long as you, if you subscribe to us, even better, because then you're never going to miss an episode. Follow us on, it doesn't matter what platform you want to follow us. The moment we go live, and it's always going to be live, there's not going to be any more pre-recorded shows unless it's a bonus episode or something. Any official PuffCast episode will be live every time. Even if I have to burn off my data on my phone and go live from out in the boondocks, if that's where I am. I don't care. I will go live. We've also changed the show time from 10.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. This is a little bit later for you folks. A little bit a little later for me. Not too much more. But uh, it gives me more of a window. That way I can still spend time with the family, the wife, a social life, whatever the case may be. Helping friends move again. Whatever. Right? And then I don't have to rush. Rush, rush, rush. To try to get on the system by 10.30. Because it, it usually doesn't work. And if I have to do anything else and then bump it, I just feel bad making you guys wait. Especially if you're waiting for the 10.30 to come around. You go to tune in and I'm not there. It's kind of a dick move of me. So let's, let's just go for 11. I know I can always make 11. And, uh, yeah. If I couldn't make 11, then what I would do... If I couldn't make it at all, I would do a pre-recorded uh, sesh for you guys, and then throw it up. That way we don't miss it. We don't miss it. We gotta be consistent with these episodes, right? Let me know what you guys like, what you're smoking, what you're using. Like, as in rigs, not using as in, like, cocaine or something. You know, I, I like to know what other people smoke with. Uh, personally... I've only ever really, you know, like I've said in the past, I got the Evodes, uh, I got the Air Riser. I've used uh, a volcano a few times on like that uh, the cord thing, the tube. I don't care for that. If I need to really inhale, eh, it's weird. Um, the bag with the little attachment thing, that's kind of neat. I did that at the Vapor Lounge in Vancouver a uh, year, two years ago, something like that. I don't know. And that was kind of cool. It was like five bucks to get in the door. You got to bring your own weed. But that five bucks gives you supposedly an hour or whatever. But they'll let you stay as long as you want, really. And then they can ask you, do you want a vapor, uh, like a, a volcano for your table? Yeah. And that comes with your $5 entrance fee, basically. You got to bring your own uh, kush. You know, they will not sell. So don't even ask. They will kick you out, is from what I've heard. But they got you covered. It's all lounge all over the place. They got a pool table. They got some arcade games. Chairs, couches, recliners, kind of. It's just a really cool atmosphere. And then at the front, they have a snack bar. No booze, nothing like that. But all your munchies, all your drinks, they got you covered. And the prices aren't stupid how expensive, right? Which is kind of cool. But yeah, so if you're ever in Vancouver, check it out. They're down on uh, Robson Street, or somewhere in around there. The Amsterdam Cafe. So, check it out. It's by, uh, I think it's on the third floor of the building that has cannabis culture. Uh, the magazine, the cafe. Uh, the first floor, I think, is the seed bank, and then their head shop. Um, I've only I've gotten to go into the, the Amsterdam Cafe, the, the, the lounge, basically. But the rest of the building does seem kind of cool. I know they do like a live uh, podcast video thing. Uh, stream nightly or weekly. I'm not exactly sure. From the cafe part. On second. <coughs> so if you're ever in Vancouver, check them out. <coughs> yeah, so I, I, I love to experiment with, experiment with different rigs. Uh, pipes. Uh, I just... I like different. I, I like to have different ways to smoke. So I find every way you smoke cannabis, it's just the effects are a little bit better or a little bit worse. Whatever. There's just changes, right? Very subtle to dramatic or drastic. But there's a lot of different ways to smoke cannabis, and every way yields it. And it, it's just neat to experience, right? right? Like smoking a joint is nothing like smoking out of a bong. Smoking out of a bong is nothing like a vaporizer. A vaporizer is nothing like, say, a one-hitter. Right? Every way. Right? And then, of course,